Okay, the first thing I'd like you to do is use your pen or pencil to surround the word difference with a box. Please notice that this box is the same shape as a subtraction symbol. And in math, the word difference lets us know we need to be subtracting things or finding the difference between them. There are really four things that are um, definitions of what is a difference of squares. The first is the degree must be two, meaning it is a quadratic. The second thing about these that's different from the others we've been working with is not the degree, but the number of terms must be two. <coughs> Meaning it's binomial. The third thing is that we must be able to take a square root of A and C. So meaning that whatever is in this spot and this spot must be something that could be a, that we can pull a square out of. <clears throat> the fourth point that must be is that this symbol here must be a minus sign. This right here? I scribbled it out. So we're going to write down these three steps, but we're going to do them as we go with this example. So I would like you to write the word example. And then 81x squared minus 36. Okay, we're going to be writing small enough that we're going to get two things going across in here. So the first step is to take the square root of the first term. This goes first in both sets of parentheses.
Take the square root of the first term. This goes first in both sets of parentheses. So what we mean by that is the square root of 81x squared would be 9x and 9x. If I multiply 9 times 9, I get 81. If I multiply x times x, I get x squared. So the square root of 81x squared is 9x. And we put that in the first in both sets of parentheses. Bless you. Second step. We're going to take the square root. Of the second term. This goes <clears throat> last in both sets of parentheses. So here we're going to take the square root of 36, which is what, everyone? And it's going to go at the end of both sets of parentheses. We're going to make one addition. and one subtraction. And that completes it. These are so much easier to factor than what we've been working with. Since we've been using our boxes to show the relationship between them. Let's do that again here. We're going to take our two binomials and place them on the outside. Nine X times nine X is eighty one X squared. What's going to end up in this bottom right box? Negative six, positive six gives us negative thirty six. Do those look familiar from the original? What's going to happen here? It's going to get canceled out. We're going to end up with a zero. Negative 6 times positive 9x is going to give us negative 54x. 9x times positive 6 is going to give us a positive 54x. These zero each other out. So we get 0x as our combined term. 0 times x would be 0, so we can just cancel them out. What we really do have is 81x squared plus 54x minus 54x minus 36 with these two gone as a 0x. 
leaving us with the first term and the last term. We've seen a couple of these already, but they have a specific name and it is difference of squares. <clears throat> and I believe this is our last official notes we're taking for this class for the year. <clears throat> 